You bet! How? John, nice Kimura attempt. Uh, Got the elbow in the pocket. He's tapped. Out. Finished by a key on. Don't reach. Oh, oh knee oh, kick. Oh, nice knee. Nice knee. Heard him. Barber is going to keep it rolling right now. Now we have Neil Johnson out of Disciple MMA, which if you're familiar with uh, the Ultimate Fighter, it's Dustin Page's Academy. We have Vaja Iormashvili. Iormashvili. <laughs> it's out of Pure Performance in Rockville, Maryland. Uh, Vaja is a native of Georgia over in the uh, Soviet, former Soviet Union. Don't want to say Russia. I don't want Vaja beating me up. I, I don't want either of them beating me up. Neil Johnson, again, a, a teammate of Dustin Page. Also of uh, Siam Yusefia, yes. a Shogun Fights veteran. Yeah. Neil's a very well-rounded guy, more of a wrestling background. Um, you know, he will stand, but, you know, his, his you know, big overhand right by Vaja. Vaja looking to press that wrestling as well. Vaja also coming in with a lot of wrestling skills. Yes. He tries a wizard throw. Ah, nice. Japanese wizard. Now he's looking. Vaja with his, there's a, oh, wow. great throw. Wow. Great throw. Vaja is a leg lock guy. He has a, 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 a pretty good array of leg locks. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see some of that going on here tonight. Well, Vaja holding that headlock. Johnson looking to come up and take the back from there. You know, if he can get his head free, he's going to be on Vaja's back. Pretty much really turns and passes. Good move by Vaja. Stalling his front headlock. Yeah, good hips here. <laughs> You can tell when two great wrestlers go at it, they almost want to turn it into a wrestling match. Johnson looking with that jab. Mashville is lower, really lowering his level with that jab, like he's looking to shoot off it. Oh, what a nice, nice leg, leg kick. kick. Wow. He's using movement. He's staying active. His striking doesn't look the crispest, but his, uh, you know, he's, he's moving forward all the time. He's moving his head, he's moving his feet. He's not giving Neil just a, a set target. And he just looks strong as all hell. Yeah. These guys, we have lots of the guys trained at our place. And uh, I mean, the guys are from over there are just so damn tough. They cannot be defeated. Johnson looking for this clinch here. Yeah, he needs to do what we saw Brian Lane do. He needs to keep Vaja against this cage. He needs to get him to the ground where he can hopefully work his ground game. Ooh, nice clinch. You know, Vaja is, is a ground guy as well, so it should be uh, very interesting. you got to be careful throwing those knees on a guy like him, too, because he'll sweep that up and turn it into a takedown. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see this guy's got, you know, great judo or, uh, you know, sambo. You know, his throws, you know, so far he's hit two already. Yep. Shakes it off the one for that tag. Johnson's still looking confident in the stand-up here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he hurt his corner. <laughs> Yeah, he, oh, wow, man. nice right from Yarmashvili. Yeah, everything he's throwing is with bad intentions. Nice, good defense. Wow, really snaps that up and shirts it off. He was mid-punch and, uh, you know, caught Neil on the way in. Neil from this clinch. You can see him working. He's working again. Yeah, you can tell he's thinking about another throw here. And wow. Nice. Good God. Impressive. Those are two headlock throws I do not want to be on the other end of. And again, he's going to secure this position, grabbing the thigh, keeping Johnson's head right there. He could open up some ground to pound here. He's got a window. He's got a good spot here. He's got the arm inside. Ah, nice. Good ex Very escape nice. for Neil. And turns it right back into looking for a takedown of his own. Yeah, Neil's a tough guy. And a double leg for Neil Johnson. You know, Neil's 5-3, and three, I believe. Uh, fights out of a great academy. A lot of tough guys there. So this is another one of those fights that uh, I was excited to see. It's great when you just get two tough, hard training guys in there. Just looking to posture up in this half guard. I don't know. I feel like I'd want to smush uh, Iramashvili a little bit and not let him get that knee back inside. Yeah, definitely not. 
Johnson with a little bit of ground and pound. Oh, but Vaja's coming back up. Yeah, Neil trying to kill the angle. He's back straightening him out, trying to get a little ground and pound in here. Vaja doing smart, well to control the wrist so he's not getting punched out here. Feet in the hips. Smart. That's where they belong. Yep, going to try to push him off and get back up. Good job. It goes right back for Nice, nice. Tries to sit. Oh. Oh. Very impressive. Tried a little sit out yeah, turn in there. He was almost out too, and Neil turned that into basically mount. So great, great uh, exchange there. Well, that's the difference between a wrestle match and an MMA fight right there, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. For sure. Let's see if Johnson can take advantage of this position. Nice little elbow there. Back to half for Vaja. Neil's got to find a way to kill those hips because this is the second time now that Vaja's found his way back to guard and now he's got a nice high guard controlling that posture. Yeah, I would have liked to see Neil stay tighter in that position that he had and uh, at least get a few strikes in, try to soften uh, Vaja up. You know, you don't want to stereotype it. Typically wrestlers don't like chilling out on their backs here, but Vaja seems like he's pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, well, I'm looking at him, and, and you, you got to wonder, you know, with his, you know, with his nationality, probably very well-versed in Sambo. I mean, he does have extensive leg locks. We've already seen three impressive throws now, so, uh, you know, he'll be a little more comfortable there. Well, a couple great throws in that first round by Vashvili. i got to think it goes to him. Great exchanges. Yeah, we got to give it to him. Uh, still real impressed by Neil's uh, ability to mount. Look at that. Sick. Sick, great throw. Here we come. We're going to see another one. Hit him twice with it. If it worked once, let me try it again. In short distance, yeah, too. You would have thought the fence would have stopped it. They were two big throws. People wondering if that works on the street. If that was the concrete he was hitting, he might not have got up from the throw. <laughs> He'll have to be a chalk outline outside, but he still looks pretty good to go here. And maybe a little less out of breath than Vaja. Yeah, Vaja was pushing the pace. You know, definitely moving a lot. Coming out. Vaja's still looking to lower his level with that jab, like he's going to use it just to come off with that shot. And Johnson's still looking really comfortable with the stand up here. Yeah, definitely relaxed. I mean, Vaja's coming with a 1 2, basically. Uh, he does throw it. Nice. Nice combination by Johnson. Nice. Avoided that big right. Oh, Ooh. missed it. Not, look at this transition. Misses the throw right into a rolling knee bar. I mean, psh, real slick. <laughs> the guy's got his game plan down. Nah, for sure. But now Johnson's in a good position here in side control. And Vaja gets his knee back. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I don't know if Johnson's giving him space or if Vaja's making it. But either way, he's finding his knees back inside, getting back up to his feet. Nice. Vaja really does have good hips, good heavy hips. And that was his position where he probably, I don't know how he got up being held in a single, and he wound up getting all the way to his feet, you know, with Neil, who is an accomplished wrestler. We know whether it's whether it's wrestling or jiu-jitsu, but there is just that certain grappling IQ that when guys have, they can make, uh-oh. It's a good Johnson, position here for Johnson. Johnson can find an arm triangle here. Looks to take the back. Um, you knew the roll was coming. Ooh, yep, looking, looking for that knee. There bargain. it is. And back to his feet. But, you know, exactly my point. Guys have that grappling IQ. They can find good spots out of bad ones. And Vashvili's doing a good job of doing that. Wow. Man, how does he? That's <laughs> the third time. It wasn't as dramatic, but, I mean, he's hit him with it. Ooh, and now he's got this guillotine. Johnson's got to look to do something here. Man, this here. is deep, too. Oh, wow. This that's is really it. deep. You bet. Neil's got to get his weight forward and get his arm across Vaj's neck. Yeah. You can't pull your head out of there. You know, Vaj had that thing tight. There was no neck exposed. His, I mean, his armpit was on the back of his head, and uh, he was cranking away. It looks like Johnson kind of waited to defend this for a minute, and you can't give a guy uh, that strong that window. Uh -uh. You can see here on the Atlantic Remodeling replay, Neil needed to get up. He needed to be on his toes, get his weight forward, try to take some of that pressure off. By trying to pull your head out, you're actually making it tighter. Well, a good win for Ior Mashvili. Yeah, big win and uh, impressive. Uh, pretty impressive to see those throws. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee stops this bout in the second round. Your winner by way of guillotine show, the Predator, Baja Ior Mashvili. This portion of Shogun.